Hey guys, I'm in my channel, so I don't know why, but every time you arise, people start getting this bullshit vibes that they want to change their lives. Well, in this video, I'm going to tell them to start writing a journal so they can see it every year the same. And unless you do something about it, it's not going to change. One day you will die and your existence will get erased from this world. No one will know what kind of person you were, what thoughts you had, what you were doing at this day. No one can figure this out. But if you document your life, if you just write everything, whatever you're feeling every day, just not every day, even two days or three days, just write down whatever events happen because life is nothing but just a series of events. If you just write down all your not emotions or stuff, but at least, OK, do write whatever you want, even and just put it online anonymously. So no one who know you personally can read it. It's an anonymous site, but some random person can read it, read it, but he cannot figure out it's you and you're just doing it keep doing it, you die. And after thousands year of your death, someone can look into your life, someone can learn from your experience. And even if he cannot, the fact that your words exist, even after thousands year of your death, it's beautiful. I don't know if you're getting my point or not. Don't think that Instagram will do it for you because you're fake there. You're not real. Just write anonymous diary where you can be real. So in this video, I'm going to tell you how to do it. Six months ago, I found this site and it's nothing. It's just someone's diary. I don't even know what's written there, but I like the look of the site. So because it's minimal. So what I did is one month ago, I started writing my journal. Now, my reasons were different. Actually, one of my friends was forcing me and I don't write my emotions or stuff. I just write whatever I did. So if you read this, it's actually first of all, you cannot read it. It's password protected and I edited some portions of it. So whatever you're reading, it's not actually real. <laughs> so I was talking to my GF, but then I woke up. So it's just a joke I edit. So as you can see, so it's it's nothing. So but it's really plain, minimal site. And if you have a domain, uh, but you don't really manage your site or anything, so you can even use this trick to convert to create some kind of like Instagram like website. So instead of writing anything, you can also put pictures or videos. It's super simple to do it. So I did this with Zola, but you might think, OK, you are doing this with Zola. That means it's not minimal or it's. But the thing is, it is actually very minimal. So this is a GitHub repo I created. You can just clone this repo. If you understand Zola, then it's super simple for you. If you don't know, you can watch my videos on Zola or you can just do this. Actually, you you should learn how to use Zola. Otherwise, it will be hard, but uh, you can find some other ways. But I will recommend you to put it online so any random person can read it, but anonymously, because if people who know you can read it, then it's an issue because they will know what you have to say about them. So uh, your personal thought, you know what? It's so cool. Like you're dying. Okay. You are about to de die. You just tell them like whoever is in front of you, you just give him a domain and you're like, read everything, you know, whatever you have to say about him. So, so here you can see, this is what you have to edit. So let me just first run this. So first of all, you have to install Zola. It's already installed in my computer and then Zola serve. This is the command in this clone repo. So if you run it, Okay, so as you can see, this is just the template which I provided in this repo. So you can just use this template and create an entire site out of it. It's also going to have all the next pages and stuff. Um, so I'm just going to show you how I do it. I recommend you to learn a little bit Zola, not a lot, at least how the basics is working. So in the content, you just have to create uh, the, wait a second. There is this date command I have. So you have to create, okay, one second date. Oh God. Yeah, this is the command. So this is going to create your title, but you don't want title. Actually, you want file name, which looks something like this. All right. So MD and just also give the time. So time can be three and 43. Yeah, 35, whatever works. So this is a file and this is just an entry. So in this entry, now you might think, oh, this is so much to do. I don't know how to do this. Well, it's actually not so much because you will use whatever text editor you use, you're going to make a macro for it. All right. So I'll show you my text editor, like how I do it, but you will, you will get it. Okay. So let me show you the state command. So yeah, what you have to do is in the title, you have to put the state something like this in case, if you want this format, then this otherwise find your own format. And then here you can write the markdown. So markdown is like, this is my first entry. 
So I don't know if it's going to work or not because I haven't tested it. But yeah, so I did edit. Okay, I added one entry. Let's just run Zola server and see. So here you can see my first entry. So if you keep adding entry, you will get all the next pages and stuff. This is what you have to edit in the template. You have to remove this. You have to change the date and everything. Even you, you have to, okay, where's this template right here? Uh, this diary. You even have to change this like description, author name. I mean, if somebody noticed that would be really embarrassing. Okay, so if you if you just want to edit CSS, then this is the CSS file. It's nothing. <laughs> also yeah that's it so you can just do this uh, now let me show you how i uh, write this so you have to make sure the amount of time it take you to write an entry have to be minimal so if, suppose if uh, the day is about to end and i'm just in front of my computer and i decided today i'm going to write a diary or log because some event happened or i just write it in every second day usually so what you can do is uh, let me show you. So in my Emacs, I have this thing. Oh, let me open my config. So log entry. All right. It's log diary. Okay. So I have this function which I created. Now, I don't know how Vim users are going to do this, but it, in my Emacs, it's pretty simple. I just run this function. It creates a file in my diary. And as you can see, the file name is actually going to get generated by this function format time string. And yeah, I'm going to open a file. So let me just run it. Uh, and I'm also going to enter the title by automatically. So if I run this, it's going to be something like this. And this file is not saved right now. So if I type something, this is my entry. And if I save it right now, then, you know, it will go on my website. So I have a sync thing running. So it sync my site directory with the, my server site directory. So nothing, I have to do it. And I realize one thing, if you automate everything, and if you just minimize the time which you have to spend in order to write an entry, then it will help you to create the habit. So I'll definitely recommend you to do this. So wait a second, I have a cron job running, which is going to build a site for me from Zola on the server. So if you find all this very tempting, just don't write it on a you know diary, physical diary. Otherwise, you know, it won't be. So see, if you put it online or digitally, you can make copies, you can host it in multiple places you can make sure someone will read it someone can access this after you die all right but or you know what why we think the death will come after 50 years like you can die tomorrow tomorrow is like first day of 2023 pretty bad day to die but you know new resolution maybe like somebody die who all right so all right so what i'm trying to say is uh yeah so yeah don't write it on diary otherwise nobody is going to read it even after thousands of years it's going to die anyway write it on digitally on an anonymous site keep it online um yeah so yeah that's it so sync it minimize the time to write it and keep writing the diary write your emotions don't do teenager rants but fine like just write whatever you want all right that's the video and the github repo i'll put the link in the description thanks for watching Daddy.